Welcome back. All eyes are on the Kings tonight as the road to the playoffs continues. The Kings hosting the Utah Jazz at Golden One Center tonight. And our ABC 10's Alicia Machado joining us there live. Alicia, I've got my Kings purple on. I'm excited. What's going on out there? Good, Devin. We're glad to hear you've got your Kings purple on, and so do many folks who have been out here today surrounding Doko and Golden One Center as the excitement leading up to the playoffs continues tonight. The Kings uh, set to begin this game in just about two hours, but let me tell you, people have been out here all afternoon. Some people coming from the Bay Area, even some coming further from Northern California. Uh, a six hour trip, as you'll see in my story tonight, just to be able to catch a a glimpse of the Kings tonight. Excitement in the air in Sacktown as the Kings inch closer to the playoffs. Basketball fans hoping a home court advantage Saturday and Monday night will mean victory in the road to the playoffs. From longtime fans, I've been a fan since '95, to pint sized players. Go Kings! Everyone's got Kings fever. Even the dogs are barking for the beam team. Fifth grader Bo Stacy excited for the opportunity to watch the Kings play in person. Getting to go to a game is actually really fun. I can't wait to watch my favorite team play this year. He's coming all the way out from Fortuna. He and his family making the five plus hour drive as part of a special Kings experience. Middle school boys and girls basketball teams getting a chance to play on the court Saturday afternoon. Hydesville taking on Freshwater School. Don't and they'll all get to watch the big game inside. Excited to be there as the Kings near the playoffs. The Aaron Fox is playing really good, especially with DeMonte Sabonis. They have a great chance. Fans confident the Kings will break a 16-year playoff drought. Oh, we're for sure making it to the playoffs. I'm debating whether or not if I'm going to cry when we make it to the playoffs. I've been following the team all season, actually. I really want to see them make the playoffs for the first time in, in 16 years. So that'd be uh, that'd be really exciting to see. Businesses in Doko also pumped to see the game bringing people into the area. Vine and Grain offering a light the beam drink in the team's honor. And Devin, the Kings could clinch a spot in the playoffs as early as tonight if they win this game and depending on how other teams do as well. We'll continue to follow this and have more for you guys throughout the night. Kevin John and Matt George tracking all of this for us. Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. We're definitely all excited for the Kings to potentially make history this season. And as Alicia explained, this is how we'll know if Sacramento will be making the playoffs and they're close to clinching that playoff run for the first time in 17 years. And we have the scenarios for you to see if they can do it. So here it is. Take a look at your screen. If the Kings beat the Utah Jazz in their game tonight, they need the Suns to lose to the 76ers and the Clippers to lose to the Pelicans. Now, if that perfect scenario plays out today, the Kings, they're on their way to the playoffs. If it isn't going to happen, the Kings would have to win two more games. But again, the situation is fluid, so we'll just see what happens.